Hey guys, Press the Bell Comic Book Universe and Defenders, issue number three. Okay, just guys, if you're not getting this comic, I don't know what the problem is at this point. This is everything you want in a comic book, it's here. Everything you want in a freaking TV show, it's here. This is incredible. I wish that this was just what the Netflix series was going to be, because I don't see how they're ever going to be able to top this comic right now, all right? Basically, the Punisher didn't kill them, obviously. I mean, he's just using, you know, stunner bullets and whatnot, uh, rubber bullets, I guess, to knock them unconscious, because, I mean, we don't know exactly, but uh, most likely, if they were to go after the Pun uh, after uh, Diamondback at this point, they'd get killed. And we're going to see a little bit of that at the end of this comic, okay? So the Punisher goes and he goes after these two guys who are talking about what's going on. Punisher's trying to find some information. Puts a knife right through the top of this one dude's head, like buries it to the hilt. Like his head is now a new sheath. Looks like a pumpkin. It, it's sick, man. And he's got the gun on the other guy and he's like, you know, talk and doesn't have anything to say. So he shoots him. Well, he misses because... Uh, what do you call it? The baton from uh, Daredevil comes and hits him and knocks his, his aim off. But you actually see it was a hollow point bullet. And it's insane. Like, oh, my God, the, the art on this is crazy. OK, so at this point, Luke Cage shows up behind Punisher, grabs him and holds on to him. And he's like, I didn't hear you coming. What's going on? You know, how did I not hear you coming? He's like, I had a kid. You know, I had to learn stealth, <laughs> you know, when she when she naps and all that. He's like, maybe you should uh, bed down, have, you know, settle down, have some little psychos of your own. Wrong thing to say. Frank completely freaks out, starts trying to hurt the hell out of him. And he's like, I had kids. They were gunned down. Like, I actually hurt. Like, inside, it actually hurt me a little bit, you know? And it really bugs me that Luke is just sitting there, like, stoic and, and iron-faced. You know, it's like, you said something really stupid. Really stupid. And you're not taking responsibility for it. Um... What do you call it? Um, yeah, Punisher starts like elbowing him and kicking him. Actually tries to kick him in the balls at one point. And you see, I was strangely like fixated on seeing what I was seeing. <laughs> Just say, pick up the comic and look at that point. You'll see it too. You'll be like, um, I shouldn't, this is weird, but I can't look away. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Frank actually pours some acid on him too. He's like, this psychopath has acid on him. And they start talking about the shirt and whatnot. So, um, he winds up putting him in a sleeper hold and, and putting him down. Daredevil's like, just let him go. And, for, uh, Luke isn't having it. So he puts him in a sleeper, knocks him out, taps him out basically. Anyway, um, and then he starts saying like, you know, this guy, man, he, he shot my wife, even though they were just, you know, just just rubber bullets and whatnot. It's like, he shot my wife. He's lucky I didn't take his head completely off. Okay, so you're talking about killing a guy who shot your wife. Well, he didn't kill your wife, okay? People killed his kids, and you're going to sit here and start cracking jokes about it and, and not throw an apology? Luke Cage, at this point, you're a dick. You are a dick. Anyway, so these guys go off, like, you know, they take the Punisher with them. Um, these two are out doing their thing, Daredevil, and <laughs> it's really funny. Um, Luke Cage and, you know, Daredevil, they're talking. Um, Punisher says something before he gets knocked out. And he says, you know, um, I don't know who he is. Like, even I don't know who he is. And he's talking about uh, Daredevil. And he's like, oh, wow. So, you know, they start talking about it after the fact. Like, you know, it's funny. I don't know your name. And he's like, okay, whatever. I'll think about letting you, you know, in on all that stuff. And he's like, okay, in the meantime, let's go in and catch up with Jessica and Danny. And Luke's like, see that? Isn't it nice being able to say their names, knowing their names? He's like, I said, I'll think about it. <laughs> Good stuff. Even funnier, Luke says at one point, you know what? How about, I th is your, can I guess? Is your name Gary? <laughs> So now Danny Rand and, uh, you know, Iron Fist and uh, Jessica Jones are sitting in a car. They're doing a little stakeout trying to, you know, catch up to Diamondback. And they're talking about, like, Gary. Do we even know a Gary? It's like, yeah, he thinks that's he, Luke Cage thinks we know a Gary. It's like, <laughs> just funny how the joke goes and crosses over like that. It's almost redeemable for Luke. Anyway, so, yeah, man, they're sitting there. And Jessica Jones has this camera that I swear to God, the first time I was looking at the picture of it, I thought it was a law rocket launcher, you know, or like one of those old Vipers or something. Like, this thing is huge, all right? Huge. Anyway, somehow, somehow Diamondback from all the way across the street and whatnot realized that he's getting pictures taken of him. He turns around, looks dead at them, starts walking up. Jessica's like, let's get the hell out of here. Nope, nope. Danny gets out the car. He's like, all right, man, what I'm supposed to say at this point is we don't have to fight. And, uh, yeah, Diamondback doesn't want to hear it. He just flips the car. It's funny. Jessica's like, oh, come on. <laughs> She's still in the car. So, um, anyway, as she's trying to get out, Luke goes after him. Diamondback catches his Iron Fist punch. Holy crap. 
And then at the very end, like they're, they're you know, so-called fighting, not much of a fight. Diamondback actually banes Danny Rand. Yeah. Actually breaks his back. Holy crap. Like, it's... It's the art is amazing on this guys, and that just makes this all the worse. Holy crap! So I know that the Punisher is going to have a lot more to say starting next issue. Um, hopefully, Blade comes back and just bring in all the goodies and the baddies. Bring them, and I want Moon Knight in this also. We need to see some Moon Knight. Damn it! Anyway, guys, holy crap! I'm giving this comic an A plus. This just. How do you get better than this? It had every single thing that you wanted in this comic and things that you didn't even know that you wanted. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. If you, Like I said, if you're not getting this comic, I don't know why you read comics at all. Anyway, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.